A long time ago, there was a place called Nitronic Studios. Welcome back. As you maybe can see in the title, I will give you a guide through all the rifles and what attachments you can use on them. So, as you can see right now, I have here the KN44, XR2, HVK, ICR, Man of War, Shiva, and M8. So, these are the classes. I will be discussing with you guys. Uh, first of all, on the right, I had my fire break. He has two pistols, but one is glitched out. I don't know why. Uh, I really don't know why. It's a little bit weird. But we will st start off with the Can 44. Maybe first in general. On all my assault rifles, I use Elo Sight and Stock. Stock is just a must. Elo Sight. side or reflex side or any side you would like. Again, before we uh, go into this, every attachment I recommend is not something you have to do, just my what I like on that gun to use. It's not that you have to use it because that's the best. I think it is the best, but maybe you think it isn't. Maybe you think uh, another attachment is way better. It's your opinion, it's my opinion, I put in this class. So, let's get into it. So, right here, the Cam 44, I use Elo side on it and stock, of course. Then, what I can use, you can use grip because, as you can see on the middle button, the accuracy gets up, gets higher and stuff. A sinus su a suppressor, I never use. A laser sight, I never use. Okay, just to be clear. Quick draw is something very 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 nice actually besides quick draw grip yes grip is very handy so can I say you put that on no extended mag not really needed on the can fast mags not needed you don't use it high caliber is something you can do but I think that's not needed on this gun long barrel is something really nice so I would say put long barrel on it and quick draw or grip why not quick, quick draw and long barrel because it just doesn't make any any more difference the only thing when you want to put a grip is so you do this and you put a rapid fire, rapid fire when you going to shoot short range it is very heavy very good so I would say you put on this and then long barrel so this is the class or th these are the attachments you can best put on your can 44 in my opinion and then the rest I'm not gonna discuss I don't think that's really necessary you can use whatever you want on this things that's right here that's just filling your points on the top you have four points left so you can use whatever you want in these okay Going on to the XR2, I don't have rapid fire yet, but I don't think it is necessary. Just an awful attachment on the XR2, it doesn't shoot very fast, in my opinion. It's just an attachment you don't need. Suppressor, again, not needed. Laser sight, not needed. Okay? Then, grip. It is a burst rifle, so grip isn't needed. You don't have that much recoil. But quick draw is still a really useful attachment so we will put on grip and then a long barrel or high caliber extended mag it has quite a good amount of magazine bullets so not not necessary needed FMG not really needed so I was thinking about high caliber and long barrel In my opinion again go for long barrel because the range isn't too good on it isn't too high on it so let's go for long barrel just the same as the KN right here quick draw and long barrel just the same okay no, not needed there. so just the same attachments not really anything special you can switch long barrel for high caliber uh, that's the only change I would think you can do these things aren't really difficult these two guns aren't the most difficult guns in the world the HVK, okay, 
Again, ELO and stock, really useful, always needed, in my opinion. Then, this gun starts to get a little bit different. Suppressor, not needed, laser sight, not needed, fast mags, FMG, extended mag, not needed, in my opinion. The only thing you could eventually put on is extended mag, but I don't think these five attachments are not useful. And quick draw, quick draw, I'm pretty sure you're gonna put it on. I'm pretty sure you're gonna do. Rapid fire, don't think it is needed because the fire rate is really high on the button. Don't think that's something you're gonna put on. The range is really low and the damage is really low as well. So the range accuracy is good. So grip, nah, don't think you need grip on this gun. Long barrel because the range isn't that good. Long barrel again. High caliber is something you can do without with long barrel you can switch it up. But long barrel still on this gun is pretty nice. Just for the sake of it. I was just looking. But yes, again the same attachments. The only problem is uh, because it has not that much range you can consider using grip it also wait, uh, it also gives a little bit more range but now nah, I still think you could better use a long barrel consider a high caliber mm, not really on this gun not really nah. my opinion again this is just the same setup as the previous two did not really expect this actually, but no problem. The ICR, the range is quite good and the fire rate is quite good. The accuracy is very good, so grip not needed, definitely not needed. Quick draw, yes. Quick draw, kind of use, useful attachment. That's something on preference. Don't think uh, I use it all the time, but if you prove uh, if you uh, hip firing first does not make a difference, a real difference. No. Rapid fire fire rate is quite high, but I think this still makes a good attachment. Because even because the fire rate is high, put this on, it doesn't have that much recoil. So I think this is a pretty good attachment on it. High caliber don't think that makes a difference on this. Long barrel already has a pretty good range and even with the rapid fire it has a pretty good range so I think you're gonna switch the long barrel for the rapid fire on this gun just again on preference <laughs> you have to see whatever you want to do going further maybe man of war this thing gets a little tricky because quick draw really good good attachment on this grip pretty much needed because it it has quite a lot of recoil. I know it's got a little patch, I think, but still, still, I think grip can be useful. Just consider it. High caliber is really strong in this gun because of the recoil. Long barrel, the range is quite okay, so I'm not thinking about long barrel actually. But rapid fire, because the fire rate isn't that high. Is rapid fire is a really nice attachment. I'm gonna put this thing on because that thing looks nice. So rapid fire. Let's just let's just put on this for just a second. Let you know what it is. Rapid fire. And then because you did that, I would say you put on grip. I think this is a fairly fairly good metal wall. I think if you really want to use the uh, mana wall very yeah in a good way you should put quick draw on it as well you have five attachments you have two points for I would say one of these and no oh no um, blast suppressor and maybe one of these and if you don't need one of these you put fast hands and blast suppressor like this this is a mana wall class in my opinion because Man of War is really dependent about your attachments. That, so I would say you put on this. The other, the others you don't really need an extra point on your gun or that an extra primary gun fighter. You could use it, but I don't think that's ma that fairly makes a difference.
but Man of War it does. So that's just what you can do. I think the only thing you can get rid of is rapid fire. Yeah, what you can change is rapid fire with quick draw, maybe. If rapid fire doesn't really go your way. But I like rapid fire and then this of course is always nice to look at. So this would be my when I would, when I would do this will put on. Uh, I guess this would be my Man of War class. I think that's the best I can figure out. Two more ARs to go. The Shiva. Stock Elo needed. Very much needed. It is a one shot rifle. How do you say how do they say it? Uh semi auto marksman. Assault rifle. So grip no. Mm. Quick draw is really, really, really nice because it is a one shot can't really have fire with it. It's really difficult. That long barrel isn't needed. The range is really good. Fire rate for rapid fire doesn't really make a difference in my opinion. Not really needed. Extended mag, nah. Mm. Quick draw is something you need. And then I will put on high caliber. Just one shot to the head and he's dead. So with this thing, again with a variant, with a nice variant, really cool. Always really cool. But with this, you can, if someone is on the head glitch or aim is on, you shoot him one shot in the head, he's dead. He's dead. So, that's just the best class I can figure out with this one. And the last one, the M8, you can have some variations. Rapid fire, I don't put it on, don't think it is necessary. Grip is a burst rifle. Grip, nah, nah, don't use it, no. Quick draw, uh, use quick draw on it. Then it goes to high caliber and long barrel. Rain, so I would make this class and then maybe just go for a second. Uh, no, elo side, quick draw, stock, and high caliber. So these are the two classes with long barrel and with high caliber. I can recommend. Um, if you're really on a long position and with this gun, and your hits, your bullets aren't really connecting. You can do this and put extended mag on it as well. Don't think extended mag is really needed. I only used it once. wasn't what was well, just useful. It was useful. To, don't get me wrong, but don't think you can better spend those two points you use for that in something else. So these are the two M8 classes, which are would recommend. I mostly use this one, not really this one because high caliber is real is useful. Again, useful, but think you could better use your long barrel. I hope I helped you out with some ideas on your classes, which attachments to use and which don't, or which better not. I don't know. I hope it helped. Hope you enjoyed, please leave a like, subscribe to see more, and I'll see you, bye.